with your hosts, Pablo Gunner, Slay J, Monkey D Ambassador here. <laughs> I saw the movie. I did see the movie. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which was like super redundant. I, it was so overhyped for me and spoiled for me on fate on well on on social media because I've I follow all that stuff for us right so and for myself but and so it got spoiled for me and overhyped and so I was like you know what I just have to watch it and then literally like the next week they're like. Now it's on a streaming service, and I was like, why did I rent it? It was not worth it. <laughs> like, the story wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, but it just felt like if you would have played it out over a series, right? Like, if you would have made it as the show, like, it would have made way more sense. And if they would have, once again, made some slight tweaks, it would have been really well done. So it's like, Red Ram and Army is back, and that's like an older villain, and it's also like the grandson of Dr. Jero. He's like into superheroes so he makes these androids that are superheroes and he he creates them and they're stopping crime then piccolo like finds out about this scheme and they're also like remaking cell even that like that was that could have been done way better because it was like it was just this mindless they were he was just like this mindless monster and to me like the best thing about cell was that like he was like this cold calculating a-hole that was just like i'm just gonna destroy you guys because i'm awesome and perfect i just i'm showing my superiority that i'm stronger and better than everybody I, you know i'm a perfect cell that's it like i really wish there was like a perfect cell max sort of like he was just a big version of cell that was just a dumb mindless monster and there are some elements that they made cool like piccolo going big too like which is something he did in the older series as a callback that was neat and then also piccolo like him getting leveled up but like piccolo he didn't earn it it was like oh he just got a wish from from the dragon and then even like gohan with his beast form like rewatch like since i've been rewatching super like i i now i can see that they've been building up to this right because he keeps on going like i'm gonna achieve a level that none of you guys are achieving and i'm gonna do it separate from being a from being a saiyan and so it really works it works really well and i and i dig it a lot and and i like the way they were going with it because at first it was because his daughter right he's so he has a daughter now and and he had a daughter in, in gt when she was being threatened he was raising his levels and that made sense when you have a kid it's just completely different i would destroy the world for my kids i, I would for sure whatever it took if he would have done the same thing for her, like, that would have made sense. But instead, it was for Piccolo. Because Piccolo, like, the, he was getting destroyed. Like, he almost died. And my wife watched it with me. She had the same thing with me. It's like, it doesn't feel warranted. Because I was like, well, Piccolo almost died. And she's like, doesn't Piccolo almost die all the time, though? And I'm like, yeah, that's legit. You know, like, that's that's true. So it would have made, made more sense that it was his daughter. That not even, like, yeah, if she was threatened with death, yeah, for sure, like, boom, that propels him into the beast, and then that makes sense. Which is very similar to a Super Saiyan, too, like, it looks similar. And like I said, once again, it, there are things that mirror, and I like that, but it just didn't feel warranted overall. And, and I hope it kind of gets redone in the show, when they when they do it. I hope they kind of redo it, because Broly was sick, right? We saw Broly together, mm -hmm. and that was sick. Everyone I talked to, they're like, that movie's so much better, like, the visuals... Totally. Every, like, every time they power up, there's so much brevity to it. And there really wasn't any plot, and yet that's so much better. So well, I think that translates to, like, the people that aren't as hardcore or, like, not even into it. They can go in and enjoy that movie because of that. Right, know. there was a lot of backstory, yes. and there was a lot of references, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of stuff going on. So now that it's on streaming, I would say check it out if mm -hmm. you're a DBZ, DBS fan. It was not worth, it's not worth buying was not worth renting. Is there a good uh, GFE for it? Girlfriend experience? Not really, no. No. <laughs> so, because once again, there's too many references yeah. to stuff. You know, like, even like the stuff, like when they reference the, like him going bigger, like that's a Dragon Ball thing reference. Mm -hmm. Which I understand partially because of the Kakarot game, because there's a lot of references to Dragon Ball in the Kakarot game, and that's really cool to me, because to me, like, that's just more history. And I've slowly been rewatching some of that too. But I would say, you know what are worth buying though? Is our Dragon Ball Z shirts, not that movie. So yeah. instead of spending 15 bucks on that, spend 15 bucks on this. Yes.